What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Yes Chef. I'm your host, Big Chef Dro, and in this video, as you can see by the title, we're talking tuna fish salad. So usually, people love to use this to make their tuna fish salad with. But today, we're gonna scrap that. And we're going to get a previously frozen piece of sashimi tuna to make our tuna fish salad with. So we're gonna do it straight from scratch. Now, I have all of the tips, have all of the tricks in order for you to make a great tuna fish salad. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Let's cook. Okay, welcome back YouTube. We are going to go ahead and get into this freshly made from scratch tuna salad. So here I have two types of tuna. I have the can, which pretty much everybody uses when they make a tuna salad. But I thought a couple of weeks ago, what would happen if I use some fresh tuna to make a tuna salad? And the wheel started spinning. So I did some testing and I cooked it two ways. One way I cooked in a pan and I did add a little oil, truffle oil and butter to it. And it was, it tasted phenomenal. I did not like the consistency of the uh, tuna salad uh, with the butter and the oil. It, it gave it a different texture that I didn't like. So what I, what I did was I came back about two nights later and I boiled the tuna, okay? Now, this tuna, this is seven ounces uh, of sashimi tuna. This is, you know, it comes frozen. This is not bad tuna, but it's not sushi grade tuna. So this comes from the fresh market. It is uh, $8 for, um, for this pack right here. And, and they're all pretty much eight bucks. And again, it's frozen, it's raw, it's ahi tuna. The difference is, you know, they put some some stuff into it. They inject things into it to keep this this bright color on it. And it's a product of Indonesia. So, you know, you're not going out buying really good, expensive tuna just to make tuna salad with. OK, that's not the that's not the case here. I have used this. I have used this for. Um, tuna poke when I make a like if I make a tuna poke uh, or even a sashimi I would use this so what we're going to do is we're going to get some hot water boiling and we're going to just submerge this whole package into the hot water and when it comes out we'll uh, we'll let you know so we'll, let's get to that right now okay I got the water to boiling uh, nothing special just boiled water and I'll go ahead and put I'll go ahead and put this whole uh, tuna inside of this boiling water. Um, I'll keep it on high if I have to. Um, I'll put a spoon over it to keep it down because I think it's going to start floating once it uh, starts to get done. And uh, I'll time it out for you to let you know exactly how long it takes for me to do that. OK. OK, let's go over the ingredients for this tuna salad. Now, this can be a really healthy meal if you choose to change a few things here and there. So I'm going to use the Hellman's mayonnaise, the real Hellman's mayonnaise. You can use avocado mayonnaise. You can use vegan mayonnaise. You can use olive oil mayonnaise, um, Miracle Whip, whatever you feel is necessary uh, to be a little bit more health conscious with how you make your tuna salad, uh, some salt, some celery I've already chopped up, some red pepper, bell peppers, and some uh, yellow onions. I have three uh, boiled eggs. And, and if you wanna know how to boil eggs, because there is a correct way to boil eggs and you can burn eggs and not even know it. So if you're interested in how to boil eggs, I'm gonna put that button up there for you so you can go and watch that video as well. And then I have my mustard, which is my anime uh, smoky mustard. 
if you guys haven't tried this, you got to go get this this Rothschild uh, anime smoky mustard. It is so good. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Some granulated garlic, uh, some black pepper as well. So uh, while the tuna is uh, obviously cooking, we'll go ahead and start mixing everything in. And so I'll just start with uh, putting all of this in first. Uh, the red bell peppers, celery, and then the uh, smoky mustard. I'll go ahead and put that some salt in there now. and some pepper. And some garlic. So I'm going to just go ahead and chop these eggs up in here while we're still waiting. And once everything is in, we'll just be waiting for the tuna fish. So and there you have it. So once the tuna is ready, we'll go ahead and incorporate everything and mix it all up so I can show you exactly what a from scratch tuna fish salad looks like. OK, so the tuna fish is ready. I had it on medium high heat for 13 minutes. And this is the finished product. It doesn't look too appetizing like this. I know it doesn't. Uh, that's what I thought when I did it the first time, uh, but it came out beautifully. So I'm gonna just put this on a plate and let it rest. Uh, let it get nice and uh, cool so I can handle it. Uh, I don't want a hot tuna fish, so. and. We will once it once it cools, I'll cut it open. I'll, I'm going to actually cut it open now uh, and allow it to cool outside of the bag. And then once it cools off, we'll go ahead and shred it and uh, mix everything together. OK, so the tuna is ready. It's cooled off to the point where I can handle it. So what you're going to get is you're going to get, you know, this stuff here. And this is just from boiling meat. Uh, you know, it's going to happen. So what I will do is I'll just take, you know, some of this stuff off. And and let me warn you now, <laughs> when you crack that bag open, this is going to smell like some cat food. <laughs> so uh, just be aware of that. OK, uh, so. I'll go ahead and I think, you know what? I think the last time I used a fork, and I think I used a fork the last time. I think, I don't remember. Uh, but I'll just do it like this here. And as you can see, the consistency is that of the stuff in the can but it's not going to be as dry because this is fresh tuna. And there's still a bit of, you know, a, a slight bit of pinkness to uh, the tuna as well. And that just lets you know that it's not all dried out. It's not, you know, you can, you, you're actually going to have some texture there. All right. So there you have it. Uh, we have the uh, we have the uh, fresh tuna ready to go, and I'll just dump this off in here. Oh. 
Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and start mixing this together. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mayo in here. And listen, you can put however much onions, however much celery or peppers or mayo or mustard. This is your tuna salad, your tuna salad. But I tell you right now, it's gonna taste 100% better with this fresh tuna uh, being in there. All right, gonna just give it a little taste to see if I need to add anything else to it. Now, that's very good. It, YouTube, you have no idea how much better this tastes using uh, fresh tuna instead of the canned tuna. This is, oh man, this is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up for you folks the, to show you what it looks like plated up. And then we're gonna go from there. All right, YouTube, the finished product is here. So what I did was I went ahead and grilled some avocado. I got some multi-grain uh, bread. I toasted it, put a tomato on top of the bread and then finished it off with the tuna salad. This is a healthy choice for those who are trying to be health conscious. Just look at that. Just look how beautiful that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into this. And I'll let you know exactly how this tastes. Oh man, everything tastes so, so good. So, if you wanna eat healthy, you ever wondered what tuna fish salad tastes like being made from scratch? Try this recipe out. Yeah, the tuna is $8, but the experience that you're gonna get is well worth the money. So, folks, as always, if this is your first time tuning in to Yes Chef, I want to thank you for watching. And if you like the content that you've seen, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the notification button and the subscribe button as well so you can be up to date on all the videos that we put out. And until the very next video, as always, peace.